Hi everyone and welcome to Phoenix Point Pre-Alpha. So, if you don't know, Phoenix Point is an XCOM style game from Julian Golob, who's the designer of the original XCOM series. And it was crowdfunded around April 2017. It's still in development, which is why this is a pre-alpha build. This is basically a tactical demo. If you take one mission from XCOM, this is basically what it is. Just one mission. But it's already very promising, as you'll see. There are a lot of similarities with XCOM, but there are also a lot of old school mechanics. So the best way to describe Phoenix Point is to say it's a mix of modern XCOM with old school XCOM mechanics. And some of its own flavor. And the gist of the story for Phoenix Point is that the Earth scientists discovered an extraterrestrial virus in permafrost that had begun to melt, and then it infected most of the population as well as animals and mutated them into horrific abominations. That's the shortest version of the story I can come up with. So, let's get started then, shall we? I already played it quite a bit, even though, honestly, there's not that much to play just yet, because this is just one mission and pre-alpha. However, like I said, it's very promising, as you'll see. And I'm already really looking forward to this game. Thompson. So, when you first see the game, it will look pretty similar to XCOM. And that's intended, however, there are a lot of different mechanics. The first one, most obvious difference, is that Phoenix Point uses time units. And different weapons use different amount of time units. If I change to a different soldier, yeah, this guy has two different weapons. If I switch to the pistol as opposed to sniper rifle, we'll see that we are able to move much more and still be able to fire. That's what the blue range means. And since the game uses time units, I can move one tile at a time if I want to, as many times as I want. However, if you want to discover enemies, there's no need to do this, because your soldier will stop automatically as soon as he runs into an enemy. Also, you can't cheese by moving and then swapping back to the sniper rifle, because when you swap the weapon, your range gets dynamically updated. So we can move here into cover, we can see the cover indicators, so that's definitely one of the similarities. Now, there's also Overwatch, however, Overwatch uses well, which means it's not always a good idea to spam it. You can recover well by using the recover ability, which does require an action point, which we don't have anymore. So right now there's no real need to use Overwatch, we'll just stay in cover. And we'll move the others. We can also do manual targeting, which is one of the features I really like. And you can even aim for specific body parts, because that's yet another feature of the game. You can actually blow off somebody's arm, or they can blow off your arm, and if you're using a weapon that requires, you know, both hands, then you won't be able to use it anymore. Like, straight up, you will not be able to use your heavy weapon if you get your arm blown off. In the future, there will be a class in-game that will be able to deal with that, but it's not implemented just yet. So, let's keep moving. I think that's enough talk for now. We'll move into cover. So, like this. And here we can see the first enemy. The crab men. Or whatever you want to call them. So now, we could actually take a shot if we want to. Now, he is out of range. But if we want to do some manual targeting, we could always try doing that. If we zoom in all the way, we could try to hit him. Now, it doesn't highlight his body parts right now, because he's hidden behind cover. As in, too much of him is behind cover. But we can still try to take this shot. Now, we are guaranteed to hit somewhere in the blue circle. Uh, somewhere in the red circle. And we got 25% chance to hit somewhere in the green circle. So our chance to actually hit him is very low. But since we won't be using Overwatch, we might as well take that shot anyway. And we missed, which is perfectly fine. So, let's move the others, shall we? We will definitely stay in cover. And now we could use Overwatch with this guy. But when we use Overwatch, it will use our well points. And we got one more person with a heavy weapon. 
Every soldier has a medkit, so when we get hit, we can use a medkit. We can use a medkit to stop bleeding, because you can bleed out. And it can be pretty nasty. And we'll end our actions. There are some of the same keyboard shortcuts in Phoenix Point as in XCOM. So, for example, you can use backspace to end your turn. Which, if you didn't know, is also what ends your turn in XCOM and XCOM 2. So here comes another crabman. We did zero damage because he has armor. The sniper rifle actually ignores armor. And explosive weapons, as well as grenades, destroy armor. So that's something to keep in mind. If we switch to the sniper rifle, this will ignore armor. Now, let's see if we can take a shot at anything. Now we can see that the circle is much, much smaller. So we could actually try to take this shot. And now we can actually highlight the body parts. So as you can see, we can highlight the carapace. And we can see it has three armor points. But again, this weapon ignores armor. And if we actually manage to hit him, there's a very good chance we will straight up kill him. So let's give it a shot. Now this chance is not super high because, like I said, you are guaranteed to hit somewhere inside the red circle and you got 25% chance to hit inside the green circle. And something I didn't mention, your health and your well is down here. But that was probably obvious. There, we actually hit him! There we go! We did 5 damage. And now he's bleeding. And his carapace is disabled. And we can also see like a small model here, which indicates what kind of damage he took. To what body parts exactly. Now we can try to finish him off. So if we take this shot, that will actually kill him. So let's do it. Oh, well it will because he's bleeding. So we can pretty much ignore him now. He will die from the bleed damage. And now we got one more, but that guy is way too hidden for us right now. So this is probably a good moment to use Overwatch. We will use Overwatch and you can see that this used one well point. So you can't just move a little bit and spam Overwatch on all your soldiers every single turn. That is not necessarily a good idea. And since we didn't move, we still got some time units. And we can use Overwatch on this guy too. Or we can take another shot if we want to, but again, this Crabman will bleed out. Meaning hitting him is a little bit pointless and a waste of ammunition. Because your ammunition is limited. We'll end our actions and, as you can see, he died. From the bleed damage. We got one more coming. Here's the overwatch shot. One damage. And now we can see that we did damage to his torso. Okay, and he deployed his shield. Let's see what we can do. We don't want to let him get too close. We can probably take a good shot with the sniper rifle. Yep, we could certainly do that. And this would be a granted hit, basically. So let's do it. There. Five damage and he's bleeding. All we really need is hit him one more time. So let's move a little bit and we'll hit him. This will do. Oh, we got another. Okay. Time to move back into cover in that case. We will keep our current positions. We could even try to use a pistol if we really want to. That is certainly a possibility. Now, you can use manual targeting every single time, but you don't have to. We can just take a shot like this, XCOM style. No problem with that. And now he's dead. Now we need to move our other guy into cover. That would be Richter. So, where is he going to go? Probably back here. That's full cover. Good enough. Okay. And now we could just use Overwatch. Because the Crabman will almost certainly move towards us. Now, one of our guys has a jetpack, which we can use to get to the high ground. So, that's another thing we could do right now if we want to. But I'm going to wait with that. Let's not do that just yet. 
All right, and we'll use Overwatch because I assume he will move towards us. He almost certainly will. Maybe not. Okay then, so now we could use the jet jump. All right, let's use the jet jump then. That's pretty much what it's for. And we'll use it to get to the high ground. It's over crap then. We have the high ground. <laughs> so there he is. And here's another one in the back. Okay then. We do have full cover, so we should be mostly fine. We need to wait for the next turn before actually being able to take the shot. So let's see what else we can do. We can move into cover and then potentially take a shot. But that will be just with the pistol. So I'm not overly ex excited about that. Let's run into cover. And then... Let's see, we could take that shot with the pistol actually. Let's take a look. It won't do a whole lot of damage. Unfortunately, but... Well, actually, it might do more than I think. Didn't quite catch that. We didn't do anything. Alright. That's fine. Now we got Richter. We could still overwatch from back here. He's probably going to be out of range. And we already used two well points. Meaning, I think it's best if we don't use overwatch in this situation. Okay, so we will not use overwatch. We also have this ability right here, Exertion. We can gain action points equal to 25% of our action point allowance. But we will not be using that. We can reload, but our ammunition is still fine. We are going to end our actions. I don't think we can really take a reasonable shot right now. I'm pretty sure we can't. A super long distance shot. I don't think we have lined up. Oh, actually. See, this is very unlikely to hit. And also, we might hit our own soldier. Because there is friendly fire. I'd rather not risk that. But we will use Overwatch, actually. Okay, and we'll end our turn now. This is going to get way more interesting very soon, by the way. And here comes the shot. To damage. Yeah, I'll take it. So now we damaged his left arm. And we have the high ground. With Azaya. Okay. So we don't have direct line of sight to the other one. We can take a look. Yep, we do not have direct line of sight at all. So, where's that other guy? Looks like manual targeting won't really work here. Let's take a normal shot then, shall we? It should be pretty good. Oh, no, we can't. Yeah, we can. There we go. Now, they will return fire. As you just saw. Something to keep in mind. Alright, next. Let's see, we need to kill that other fella. So, we can move behind him and take a shot with the pistol. We can also take a regular shot from here. After moving into cover, perhaps. Alright, let's move into cover and take a shot. Then we can flank him with the pistol. If this doesn't work. What's our chance? Or what's the damage we are going to do? Now, the first two squares is guaranteed damage. The next three is damage you might do. But it's not guaranteed. There's a pretty good chance we'll just kill this crabman closest to us. Here, he's down. Alright, now we need to do some damage to the other one. Let's take a look then. We can use the sniper rifle. I just don't necessarily want to waste the ammunition on it. So, I would prefer a different weapon. Okay, we can run into full cover. That works. This would probably be a kill. But again, no guarantee. Alright, let's take that shot. There, he's dead. Good job. And now we can keep moving. Now, like I said, there are still surprises waiting in here, as you'll see. Pretty nasty surprises, too. 
let's not risk revealing anything with our last move. That's always a good practice. And we can end our turn. So, let's keep moving. Who is going to go first? Doesn't really matter. I'm just checking for full cover. Not a whole lot of full cover on here, unfortunately. There is some full cover on the right side. Okay, looks safe. Alright, let's play it safe. We won't be moving too much just yet. We'll move into good firing positions. Now, I might actually keep our heavy on the high ground. But he always has the jet jump. We could jet jump to this tower, maybe. If we want to get in there, we'll have to use the ladder on this side. Not the jet jump. Alright, let's move to the low ground for now. Because we need to be in range of whatever we're trying to hit. And we'll end our turn. And here comes the boss. The queen. So, she looks pretty nasty. But actually, she isn't entirely finished yet. It's going to be a bit of a spoiler, but she is missing some of her attacks right now. Meaning, there's a pretty easy way to neutralize her. But she can kill your soldiers rather quickly. I'm just saying. And I love the way she looks. It's amazing. Just look at her. And look at all the body parts we can target. We can target the carapace, we can target the head. We can target the left pincer. We can target the right pincer. We can target the abdomen. Front right leg. Front left leg. Back left leg. Back right leg. The thorax. We can target a lot. And look at all the hit points she has. So now, she is behind us. And there's one more crabman in front of us. However, we should definitely prioritize the queen. Because, like I said, she can kill us rather quickly. Alright. The first thing we're going to do is target the pincers, because that's what she uses for her actual attacks. If we take a shot like this, it's guaranteed to hit it. And the sniper rifle ignores armor, so the armor on it doesn't matter. Fire. I didn't actually see the damage I did. Okay, I don't think we destroyed it just yet. Pretty sure we didn't. Let's take a look. We did not, alright. So we need to destroy it. Hopefully this will hit. Nope, zero damage, unfortunately. Okay. We still got options. We might need to move a little bit closer. If we move closer, we'll have a better chance of hitting. But I need cover from that other guy, obviously. What's our chance from over here? Not that great, but let's try. Alright, let's try. Zero damage still. Unfortunate. But we can still take one more shot. Alright, again. Nope, still zero damage. See, this is a little bit risky sometimes, because if we took a regular shot, we would have hit something. However, if we destroy both pincers, she will not be able to attack us anymore. And that's the general idea here. Now, how about we try killing that crabman? That would be great. I'm not sure if we can get line of sight to him. That might be a little bit problematic. Yeah, I don't think we can actually get line of sight. Maybe? We can get line of sight to the queen. So this should probably be a regular shot. Because our chance to hit the pincer will be way too low in this situation. Yep, this should be just a regular shot. That didn't do a whole lot because of the armor. Now, the best way to neutralize armor is to use explosives. Once she moves a little bit closer, we will be able to throw a grenade. And that's what we're going to do. We got one more shot. So let's try to hit that pincer, shall we? That's the general idea. 
Maybe we'll get lucky this time. No, we will not, unfortunately. Well, you tried. I'll give you some credit for that. Not much point using exertion right now. Alright, so now she's moving. She was a little bit too far away to attack us. Now, since she's closer, it will be way easier to hit a specific body part. And we still need to get rid of that crabman. There is actually a lot of terrain destruction, and the queen can destroy a lot of this base. Just something to keep in mind. Now, the crabman is bleeding out. He will die from the bleed on this turn. Meaning we can pretty much ignore him. Now, the queen. This is going to be pretty important. Let's see. Again, this is a bit of a risky shot. Let's try like this. Okay, there we go. Left pincer disabled. Now, we have to do the same with the right pincer. Preferably before her turn starts. Okay, so this is granted to hit. How much damage was that? Four damage. Alright, not quite enough. Keep in mind, it won't be as easy as this in the final game, because not all of her attacks are implemented yet. We don't need to reload, unfortunately. We could use a grenade. Well, that is a possibility, certainly. Maybe we should. It's not a bad idea, let's use the grenade. Should have started with that, probably. Okay, right, pins are disabled. So now she won't be able to attack us. As you'll see. Alright, and let's maybe reload then, shall we? We have to do that anyway. And we got one more shot. There's no point shooting the crabman, because he will bleed out. The only downside is that he will keep getting shots. If we take a shot. But still, I would like to take that shot. So what do we want to target? We can target the leg. I think we'll just take a regular shot. No manual targeting. Well, we can try to target the head. Alright, sure. We have zero damage. She still has some armor. That will be enough for this turn. The crabman will die. And now, normally, she would obviously attack us. But again, she can't because we destroyed her pincers. I really like this system. It's just great. And it's so different than anything in XCOM 1 and XCOM 2. I love it. Not to mention these bosses are just amazing. I'm really looking forward to seeing more of them, not just the queen. And now, since she's standing right next to us, we can hit whatever you want pretty easily. Let's start from the sniper rifle, because that ignores armor. First, we have to reload, unfortunately. So then, we don't have enough action points, meaning we'll have to use the pistol. Okay, what has the least armor? Looks like that would be... The thorax. Two armor points left. Two are destroyed. Alright, let's do that then. Four damage. Yeah, that's pretty good. And we can take one more shot. Alright, good enough. Who's next? Irina. She does have a grenade, so we could actually throw a grenade if we want to. Let's throw a grenade. It will destroy more of her armor. The queen's armor, that is. So, yep, this will do. Very nice. Minus 8 armor. That will help. And we could throw one more if we want to. Since we didn't move at all, we have the time units. Might as well do it. Here. And that destroyed a lot, as you can see. And we still got some shots. At least one. Do we? Actually, I think we're done. 
now we can still throw one more grenade. Because why the heck not? Commander, please exercise restraint while using explosives. Oh wait, that's the wrong game. <laughs> no restraint! <laughs> yeah, normally she would pretty much stomp us at this point. And possibly spawn nasty things. But not this time. Alright, well, she will be going down pretty easily. Let's target the thorax. And that was very nice damage. Look at all the bleeds. She's more or less dead. More than less. What is not destroyed? Abdomen. Free armor on the abdomen still. Alright, swap to the sniper rifle. Because that ignores armor. And she's going down. We can also target the head. There, and she's dead now. <laughs> yeah, no head anymore. Half of her head is gone. And that's that. We are not quite done just yet. So let's move. But the biggest target is dead, obviously. We'll just end our turn, I think. Move into cover of some description. And reload. We definitely need to do that. Alright, reload. We still got the jetpack. Next turn. We'll still have some regular crab men. We'll have to deal with them, but compared to the queen, it's not really a big deal. There, that was decent damage. Okay, let's check our sniper. Still their turn. One more on the left side. We are a little bit flanked right now. Nice shot. And he's dead, I think. We did hit his gun arm, I saw that. But we also took quite a lot of damage ourselves, as you can see. Still alien turn. And one more. Okay, yeah, this is getting pretty nasty. Deploy shield, that's fine. Alright, we need to prevent this flanking situation that we have going on. That guy on the right side is very far away. Where's our sniper? Right here. He needs to move into cover. For obvious reasons. Well then, there's not much cover he can use around here. The problem is that he will be flanked. Alright, maybe this will still be interesting. Who still has some grenades? Irina has a grenade. Actually, no, she does not. They are both used up. Okay. I don't think we have any grenades left. Not really. However, we can launch a missile. That might not be a bad idea. Okay, but first we should probably move. Where do we even move, though? I would be tempted to use a missile at this guy over here. So how about we move into cover on the left and then use a missile. Let's move into full cover. I'd like to kill this guy so that we won't have to worry about getting flanked from this direction. Oh, we are actually out of range for that missile. Okay then, change of plans. I still want to use the missile, if only to showcase how it works. Which is pretty obvious, but still, I want to use it regardless. Let's just use it. Here we go. Can't go wrong with explosives. There. That was quite a lot of damage, as you can see, and now he will die from the bleed. And we destroyed a lot of this crap. Okay. Who's next? Maybe our sniper can take care of that guy in the back. It is going to be tough. There's a pretty good chance we'll miss, unfortunately. We can move a little bit closer, but not much closer. Can we move into any cover from this direction? It doesn't look like it. And staying out of cover is a really, really poor idea. We could move to some high ground. But again, cover. 
How about we move here? No? Into this building. Still no cover in there. I don't like it. Let's move to the high ground. This is about as far as we can go. Okay. Make it happen. Now, we are already wounded. Oh, hi. Enemy spotted. Alright. Fancy seeing you here. What else can we do? So, this guy will bleed out. He's pretty much dead already. He's a dead man walking or dead crab walking. We still got one more crab in this area, but we can't quite see it. That's what bothers me a little. We can recover our will points, but there's no need to do that right now. Let's move into this little area over here. And then see what we can do. Okay, we got some targets. There is a chance we'll kill this guy. Let's take that chance. There we go, he will die from the bleed. Good job. Alright. That leaves us with one more soldier who can actually do something. Richter. Okay. We can't quite move into this tower. Actually, yes, we can. Alright, let's do that then. I like that idea. You can't go wrong with more high ground. Now, prepare a defensive perimeter. It's and we got plus three willpower. Overrun. Let's go down like soldiers. I don't think we'll get enough action points if we use Exertion. I'm pretty sure we won't. Okay, now we will get flanked by something. It's kind of impossible to avoid that, I'm afraid. It might get rough for this guy. Fortunately, he still has armor. So that crabman will bleed out. We are still flanked. But our most wounded soldier has cover from both directions. Here comes return fire. Alright. So, let's take a shot from the high ground first. That should be pretty good. 32%. I'll take it. And he's dead. And that's it. So, like I said, this is a pre-alpha tactical demo, more or less. Just one tactical mission. There will be a backer build available pretty soon, which will have randomly generated missions, because this mission right here is always the same. I could replay it and it would be exactly the same. Still, I hope you enjoyed this Phoenix Point demo. There are quite a few really interesting mechanics and I have to say, I'm really hyped for this game already. I will be covering Phoenix Point more as the development progresses, because this is one of my most anticipated games of this year. Right now the release is scheduled for 4th quarter 2018. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.